Okay, I wanna to transition to a couple little pieces to help you when you're running a Zoom, a Zoom cell. The first one is when you're confirming the Zoom and you're setting it up via an initial call to an appointment, I wanna remind you, I wanna give you a couple ideas. I wanna give you a couple ideas for how to make sure and confirm that. There's a, there's a gentleman that I follow, his name's Nate. He's a buddy of mine. He, he, he had what, a 100% show ratio with his Zoom calls 12 weeks in a row. They either showed up or they called ahead to let him know. Okay, so if, 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 if you, if, 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 if you wanna know what that is, make sure you jump in comments because I'm about to give it to you, okay? So what he did is when he was making calls, when he was making calls, he would let them know. He would ask a follow-up question, right? Would there be any reason, this is a lockdown close, by the way, would there be any reason why Friday at two o'clock would not work? That's a secondary question just to make them rethink the time they set, by the way. Uh, I think that's good. Okay. And what I would say if I'm in your shoes is, I want to make sure because if you say you can be there and then you don't show up, my calendar is extremely busy. I can only help so many people. And if you show up and you take someone's spot and you don't show up, then that's one less family that I can't help. Right? So I just want you to understand the severity. It's my job to help as many families as I can. And I want to spend time with you, but if, we, if, if, if we're supposed to spend time together and something comes up, I just need you to let me know so that I can fill it with another family so that I can help another family. Is that good or is that good? And he, he doesn't get no shows anymore. Okay. Now, when you're running a Zoom, I want you to think about three things. Most people, when they run a Zoom cell and they don't get a cell, they typically, they typically missed out on building rapport. Rapport and the relationship matters. It's the most important part of this whole thing. Right? It's more important than whatever we're pitching. So here's a three-step sales process when you're running a Zoom call. The first one is to focus on building rapport. When you get off and you did not make the sale, then either, either what you were offering was going to put them in a, better, in a worse situation or we didn't take time to build rapport. Number two, find a pain point. Find a pain point. Number three, offer a solution. Very simple, but if you don't start with rapport, if you build rapport enough, right, you find common ground, you build a relationship, they know, like, and trust you. Then once you actually go start building rapport really well, they're going to actually tell you the problem. They're going to tell you the pain point. You won't even have to tell them. Okay, so remember that, all right? I want to run through a couple things really quick as we transition to mindset and as I have two minutes left, okay, as we have two minutes left. Success is a decision. A lot of insurance agents fail because they say, I'm gonna do this, and they say, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna start on Monday. I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do this later. We need, if it's good enough to do it tomorrow, it's good enough to do it now. Okay, as I move back to the mindset piece, okay, as I move back to the mindset piece, I have a daily power five. Since I, gave it, since I was given a little more time, I'm going to share this. I have a daily power five, five things to do to start my day every single day. Number one, I wake up before 6 a.m. Daily power five, write these down. I wake up before 6 a.m. Okay, these, these are things I've been doing for two years that have helped me level up, right? Who doesn't want to level up, okay? Number one, wake up before six. Number two, number two is I want to get a good workout in. I want to get a good workout in because energy, I went to the ocean down there and swam because I'm training for an Ironman that's in Galveston, Texas in November 22nd. And I've got to swim in the ocean 1.2 miles. And then I got to bike 56 miles. And then I got to run 13.1 miles. So I was down in the ocean swimming, trying to train for this Ironman, right? That's energy. My energy is everything. If I didn't work out, if I didn't swim, my energy would suck right now. And I know that you know that when you're selling, you're doing one thing. You're selling conviction. You're selling certainty. You're selling an influence. You're selling persuasion. And if your energy is low, and you're not that exciting to talk to, and I hope you're having a great day, Miss Betty, then guess what? You're going to struggle to close deals. You are selling certainty. You're selling conviction, passion. Your why, you're selling certainty, you're selling energy. Energy is everything. So number two, I work out. 
I work out because energy is everything. Okay, number three. Number three. I believe in learning and getting better every single day. I watch universities, videos, read books, listen to audio books, because I know that in the morning, my brain is the most palatable to get information in and to learn and to expand. And so I want to be learning every single day. You need to spend time learning every single day. I promise you, you won't notice it today, but you'll notice it seven days from now, 30 days from now, a year from now, two years from now. Once I started get actually like, cause we don't, I mean, cause how, how, how many opportunities, how many AEPs of 2020 do we get? One, and I want to be the most focused and the most serious that I've ever been so that I have the greatest AEP I've ever had so that I, cause, cause, cause you, you think about it in 2021, do you want to have regrets that 2020 wasn't the best AEP you've ever had or that 2020 you didn't give your best effort or that 2021 or, or the 2020 you didn't take it as serious as you should have. Now is the time. You're right. It is a crucial piece to your success. And you need to focus on making 2020, 2020 AEP, the best you possibly can. Number four. Number four is write my goals down every single morning. I've got some lofty goals. I want to help every insurance agent in the world. I want our companies to be worth over hundred million. I want to be like Coach Michael Bird and travel around on a freaking private jet. Okay. I want, I want to have, I want to have hundreds of staff and team members, and I want to do everything I can to leave a legacy on the insurance business like nobody ever has, okay? That's some of my goals. Now, I challenge you right now to say, dude, what, what, what are your goals? What are you writing down? What are you thinking about every day? Because when I wake up and I write these things down every single morning, I'm telling you, it puts me in the right frame of mind, it makes me humble, and it gets me excited for the rest of the day, the rest of the week, and the rest of the month. Okay, every single time. And number five, I finish with a cold shower. Why? Because most people won't do the tough stuff. Most people don't want to do the things that are hard. They're scared to do it. I want to force myself to do the things that I don't want to do because when I operate in a place of fear, outside of my comfort zone, and I force myself to do stuff I don't want to do, right on the other side of that, something good starts to happen. I was a new agent not too long ago. I started as an intern, calling out a phone book before I knew you're not even really supposed to be doing that. I feel like I get and understand new struggling insurance agents. Most people in our business are not the dude making seven figures, rolling in it and traveling the world. Yep. Most of the people in our industry are struggling. Some even have part-time jobs. I want to be the guy that they can go to, to to really learn some knowledge and really help them. I was very fortunate to earn $117,361.13 in my first eight months. And I thought, if I can do that, working for one company, selling one product, I can probably help some other people too. What is up? Welcome to Phone Phenom. If you love this, you're like, dude, I want a whole team of people doing this. Seven secrets on building a, scaling a sales team. It's right there. Click on that. I'll see you there. All right, all right, all right. It is five o'clock. Welcome to seven secrets to scaling a superstar sales team. Super excited to be here tonight on Tuesday evening. Appreciate you guys signing up. I can guarantee you 